Seven tenths. Before we find where seven tenths is on a number line, let's first see what it looks like as we model it. So we know, first I wanna determine um, the different place values, right? We got the ones place. And after there's a ones place, we got a decimal point, and then we got the tenths place, and then the hundredths place. All right. So if we're looking at the number seven tenths, well, that's easy. I need to make sure I have seven of these tenths. One, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. So let me spread them out a little bit so you can see it. We have seven tenths and I don't have any ones. I don't have any hundreds. And so if I were to write this, I can see that I have zero ones. I have seven tenths. And I don't have any hundreds. I don't even have to write that zero because there's nothing over there. I could if I want to, but I don't want to. This number line is broken into 10 parts between zero and one. So that just means this is one ten, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. Here's seven tenths right here. And we're done with seven tenths. Twelve hundredths. Again, before we find where that is on the number line, let's find where it is over here. For twelve hundredths, I could model it with 12 of these hundreds, right? I got two hundredths, four hundredths, Six hundreds, eight hundreds, ten hundreds, and then twelve hundreds. I was counting by two. We could do it like that, but you'll notice that just like when we use these blocks before, when you have ten of them, it equals one rod. And we said the rod is going to represent a tenth. So instead of doing twelve hundreds, I could do, I'm gonna get rid of these one tenth and two hundredths, sorry, and two hundredths, because that's ten hundredths right there, eleven hundredths, twelve hundredths. Twelve hundredths, I see that I have nothing in the ones place, but I have one in the tenths place and two in the hundredths place, and that's twelve hundredths right there. So if this is what twelve hundredths looks like, where is it on the number line? Well, first, look at how many tenths we have. I see there's one tenth, and one tenth is right here because here's zero one tenth but this is more than one tenth a little bit more than one tenth you see it's one tenth and then a little bit more so we're gonna go a little bit past one tenth here's twelve hundredths right here not all the way to two tenths we don't have that much but just a little bit past one tenth is twelve hundredths what about one and four hundredths Ooh, so we're gonna need more space on this number line because we're going past number one but we don't wanna jump into that yet. Let's go to our model first. So this time we do have one. We have one, just one. Remember the flat represents one and we have four hundreds. So let me take care of my four hundreds, two hundreds, four hundreds, boom. One and four hundreds. So if I'm writing this as a decimal, I see I have one and I don't have anything in the tenths place, but I do have four in the hundreds place one and four hundredths. Now when we come back here, I know it's written like this, one and four hundredths. And so you see I'm at the number one and zero tenths. Here's one and we don't wanna move any tenths yet because we don't have any tenths. So we wouldn't go to one and one tenth, we're just gonna stay here at one. But we gotta go a little bit past one. You see, we have a little bit more than one. So let's just go a little bit past the number one. So that's one and four hundredths. Not quite one and one tenth yet, but one and four hundredths. Two and 46 hundredths. Getting to the big dogs now. Look at this, we had to go all the way, cause we're gonna be going past number two, right? So I went all the way to three. So two and 46 hundredths. But again, before we jump on this number line, we're gonna model it. Two and 46 hundredths. I know I need one, two. Yeah, I got my two. But then 46 hundredths. Remember, 46 hundredths, well we know 10 hundredths would be the same as 1 tenth, 20 hundredths, 30 hundredths, 40 hundredths, because that's 10, 20, 30, 40, and we need 46. So, 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6 hundredths. So we have 2 and 46 hundredths. 2 and 46 hundredths. Now if I'm writing that decimal, I see I got 2, decimal point. How many tenths do I have? I have four, and then I have six hundredths. 
two and 4600. Cha cha! So now we know what the decimal looks like. It's two and 4600. So let's find where it's gonna be on the number line. Here we go, we got two. This is two and one tenth, two and two tenths, two and three tenths, two and four tenths. Let's stop here because I see that I have four tenths, so we're gonna stop at four tenths. But I gotta go a little bit beyond four tenths. Um, remember, I'm going to six, I gotta go six hundreds past that. Now, six hundreds is more than halfway, right? Half of a, a tenth would be five hundreds. If halfway was right here, that'd be 500, but we need to go just a little bit past that to 600. Two and 4600s.